Hi, this video tutorial explains how to import predictive technology models in Advanced Design System tool. PTM latest models are available at this particular website ptm.asu.edu. It has various technology nodes starting from 180 nanometer to the latest 7 nanometer. Both NMOS and PMOS are available as individual files. For this video, I am going to use 16 nanometer PTM with the low power model. This model has both NMOS and PMOS in a single file. Save this file, use Ctrl S. I am saving it on the desktop with the file name as it is 16 nanometer underscore LP dot PM. Once the file is saved, open the EDS workspace, go to the library palette, choose the devices MOS. From this library palette, place PMOS and NMOS to characterize the behavior of MOS circuits. This is the PMOS and this one is the NMOS. You can move, move this components that is the text use F5 function key to place these components aside just rotate it because in the PMOS it has to be connected to the supply select this and you can use mirror about x-axis Use again function key to change the or place the text. Now you make the connection as per the requirement of the circuit. So use the wire mode. Connect this gate to gate. You require the VDD here. So for that, go to the library palette, time domain, sources. Place VDC component here and you require a pulse source also. Place a pulse. Use the wire mode again. Connect this VDD, the substrate or bulb to the source, similarly this bulk or body to the ground, make the ground connections, you can directly connect the ground. For reference, you can label this as V in. Click here. Name this V in and the second label to V out. If you want, you can disable this temp and DTA. Double click on it, disable this and temp. For this transistor also disable DTA and temp the circuit is ready now what you have to do is you require the model to include the model you can search here search in the library use netlist 
and select netlist include place this double click on it and search for the library file browse i have placed that on the desktop this is the file 16nm underscore lp dot pm click ok now it is placed you have to change the model of this this is the pmos and this one to nmos change the model name because the spice model has pmos and nmos i am taking the length to be 16 nanometer as it is for both of this and width to 1 micrometer and this one width to 1 micrometer. I want to perform the transient analysis. So I have applied a pulse source. Click on it. Double click on it or you can change from here itself. I want to have 0.1 nanoseconds rise time 0.1 nanosecond fall time width of 20 period of the pulse is 40 nanoseconds value of 1 volts since i want to perform the transient analysis go to the library palette again select the simulation transient select this icon or controller place the component I want to simulate it for 100 nanoseconds save the design you can click on this icon to simulate now you can select this rectangular plot Select the V in and V out to be plotted. Click on add. You can double click on it to change this plot mode. You can see that or let me change the color of this and thickness to 1.5 and this one with 1.5 this waveform shows that this is operating as a inverter you can see the results so the PTM model is working as per the requirement I have completed the transient analysis. Now, now I want to show you the voltage transfer characteristics for this same model. This is the model. I am performing the DC analysis with V in and I am plotting the current that is drawn by the transistor. So let me run this. The netlist has been included. That is the model file 16nm underscore lp. Run this. So it shows the voltage transfer characteristics of the inverter. You can optimize this. Similarly, I have designed a to input NAND gate. Let me close this. I will show you one more. This is the to input NAND gate and I have used the same PTM model which is 16 nanometer. Click OK. Simulate it because I have the components PMOS and NMOS are connected in 
series and parallel with two inputs VA and VB as the input and V out as the output for this particular NAND kit. Simulate this. This is the response of the NAND kit. If you want, you can insert the legend. Right click here or select this and right click to include the legend. This is the response of the NAND kit. In this way, you can use the PTM model in the advanced design system tool. Save the design. This is the two input NAND kit.